Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about user input, right? Um, so let's get started. Let me just pull this up really quick. Okay, cool. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to get an user input, right? Um, let's go ahead and create a package. I'm just going to call it user input. Okay, in this, let's go ahead and create a class. I'm gonna call this user input as well. And let's initialize it with the main method. Let's go ahead and finish. So if we want to get user input, meaning get some value from a user, right? In that case, we need to import the scanner class, right? Uh, so, Within this, with, there are different types of inputs that we can take in. Um, let me just go ahead and list them over here so you guys can see what those things are. Uh, let me, actually, let's, let's go ahead and work with some, some of the scanner class first and then, uh, and then we can put type in all the inputs and everything that are available. Yeah, all the different type of uh, methods that are available in the scanner class. So how do we do this thing is, first we need to create an object, right? We need to import the scanner class. And instead of, I can go over here and I can do import, right? I can do import scanner. You see this first one that shows up, right? But we don't really have to import it. It'll, you know, by default, the IDE will just give it to us. It should give it to us. So let's go ahead and create a scanner. Scanner, see, just by me typing it out, it already automatically imported. So that's the reason I didn't want to type it in. So scanner, scanner equal new scanner. And in here, we have to say, uh, we have to give in, uh, we have to provide a value called system.in. So what the system.in does is basically says, that you know let the user type in their response that's basically all that is so we have to say system.in this will let the user uh put in or type in whatever the question we're going to ask for or whatever the thing we need from the specific user again we created this scanner class right our scanner object basically not a class so in here we can do a few things right let's do something very simple uh we can do S out and we can say what is your name? Well, keep it simple. What is your name? And how what do we want to type in? Is again, I can also create uh I can also create like a different variable over here as well, like string name, something like that. Uh, but I don't really have to. I don't want to type it in twice, but I can if I wanted to. So in here. We're going to do like scanner dot next. We're going to talk about this next and the next line a little in a little bit. But right now, let's work with next line. Next line. And in here, I want to put this uh, here. Let's just do S out. And you can say my your name is. Your name is. <clears throat> plus you know again i don't want to i don't want to i i just want to put this into a variable so that way i can just have this thing saved i can say string name right uh name in here i can on here in the plus i can just say name well, that's it i don't really have to do anything else so let's go ahead and see if this thing works run as Java application. You see this input right there? It says, we, we ask the user, what is your name? It's asking for the user, what is their name? Let's say, say Mo. There you go. It says, my name, your name is Mo, or you, not you, but your, your name is Mo. Right? So that's that. Let's just run it one more time, see if this works. What is your name? John. There you go. Your name is John. Okay, great. Perfect. Application works. Right. 
So in here, there are another thing, another thing that we can do is again, like I said, we have this next, and then we also have this next line. So let me let me show you guys two ways of doing this thing, right? So let's say we have string, let's say I say name two, right? Equal scanner dot next. This time I'm just gonna use the word next. And I'm gonna say S out. And you say you can say my name is right mm -hmm. plus or I can just say my name. I'm just gonna change this from name two to my name. Okay. So first we ask, what is your name, right? Then we can ask again. I don't have to type it there, I can just type it here. Let's say I just type it here. S out. My name is. Uh, let's say I have that, right? Let's go ahead and run this thing. You're going to sort of see the difference. So I have what is your name? I have what is my name, right? Let's say I say John, right? And then my name is, let's say, I don't know, John Smith, right? See this, right? So here, um, I think this will probably make things a little bit more clear. Let me just run this thing one more time. What is your name, right? <laughs> let's say I have John. My name is, let's say I said John Smith. It printed out John again, right? But I said John Smith, what happened, right? Okay, so on this one, let's try to switch it around, right? Let's try to say on the next line, because this first one is the next line, and this, this second one we have my name, which is next. So let's try to run this thing again. Let's try to do this thing again. What is your name? Let's say I said John Smith, what is, and my name is, let's say I said John. See, in this time it printed out correctly, right? So I'm not sure if you guys understand this. So what happens if we use this next keyword, it only grabs the first value. As soon as we enter, enter a space, it skips it. It doesn't take in anything else after that, right? What I mean by that, so let's say I have, or here. Let's say I have next over here, just next, right? I don't have next line or anything. What is your name? Let's say I put John Smith again. See, what it did, it didn't even consider this thing. It just automatically went to the next one. It just says, my name, my name is, you know, it didn't even let me put in there because what happened is that when I said, as soon as I said, what is your name? It just took in John, that's, that's that first, First one right there. And then it says Smith, right? It says, my name is Smith. It automatically put it on the second line. So let's go ahead and type, write this, do the run this thing one more time. What is your name? Let's say at this time I said John, just one time. Now it's asking me, okay, my name is, and I can say John again or whatever the hell I want, right? And this time it gives him one. So, so by saying the next, it automatically just goes to the next one. You know, if I'm putting in additional value, it just fills it in for the next value as well, right? If I say over here, like, you know, how are you, right? Um, 
it's a good killer, you know, something like that. Uh, plus. My movies. Right? Something like that. So on this one, if I run it again, let's say again I have next, right? If I if I just type it in, what is your name? And I say, let's say John, and I put space and I just say, let's say good. So what this will do, this will for the first for the first line, it'll say, My name is John. And it'll automatically answer the second one as well. You know, how are you as well? So if I hit enter, see, good to know, good. <laughs> the reason I have this good to know, and then I have good, good is because I have this, this thing over here. If I just take that out, if I just take the thing out, it will not, it will not give me that uh, result. John, I mean, let's say good, right? So how are you? Right. So it still gives me both of these questions, which is fine. Is it your name is John and good to know. But and again, if I if I just if I just have one answer, right? If I just have one answer, what is your name? Let's say I said John again, then it just gives me one at a time. How are you? Good. Right? So if the, at this time, if I hit just one answer then it just gives me one question at a time. But if I put in both, if I put in both, right, John and good together, it, it answers both of the questions, okay? Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. So if I just go back and then the next line, uh, and then over here, I also do next line, right? In this case, if I run this thing, let's say I type in John Smith, say because I have next line, it captures everything. It doesn't matter if I have a space or whatever. It is up until I actually press the enter button. It says, how are you? I can say good, bad, you know, just okay. Whatever the case is, as soon as I hit enter, then it just you know, gives me all that feedback, right? Or I can say right here, I can say, you said, right? And then plus my mood. So it'll print out everything right now. What is your name? Let's say John Smith. How are you? Good, bad, somewhat okay. I don't know. Right, it will enter exactly as we type. It doesn't really matter, right? It, it doesn't matter what we put in here. It'll still take everything up until we hit enter. So yeah, hopefully this makes sense for you guys. Uh, the, and like I said, you know, there are other methods that are available and what those methods are. Um, let me actually create a text file. And we'll just say, uh user input methods right in here we have we have next boolean we're gonna go over all this means then we have next byte then we have next double then we have next float then we have next end we have next line then we have next long then we have next Short. Okay. So what this means, right? This thing reads a Boolean value from the user. 
So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to type it up all over again. So copy this. Reads a byte value from the user. Reads a double value from a user. Reads a float value from a user. Reads a int value from a user. It's a string value from a user. This it's a long value from a user. A short value from a user. Again, this is the definition that we have, right? So this is the definition. You guys can definitely try all of this. So I know over here we just did um, uh, next line, right? Again, you can is the same thing. There is literally no difference. It's just basically uh, so it has to copy this. <clears throat> uh, okay. There you go, right? So is there is no difference. It just basically just like how we have scanner dot next line. Um you, know, you can have let's say Boolean my Boolean equal scanner dot oops. So just like we have next boolean here, right? You can just say next. You now it shows up right there, next boolean. Okay. And again, you can have byte, right? Byte, my byte equals scanner dot next byte. You got the point. You guys can do it for the double, float, int, right, and, and, and so forth. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys do have any other questions, please do let me know. But again, you guys, it's the same thing. It just follows, and you know, if you want to do it for int, like int my int equal scanner dot next int again it's the same thing you just follow through it there is no difference and we already did it for uh the the next line which is for the string right um string let's say my string my string scanner next line again this is basically how you type in all this thing and again you have all these other ones you guys can definitely practice that, but hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much. Have a good one.